Peter, why does this OLED screen come in a two-pin version and a five-pin version? Why wouldn't I just take the one with fewer wires? Because those extra wires are for speed, Stewie. The two-pin version is I2C. It uses one wire for the clock and one for data. It's great for saving space, but it's slow because every device has to share the same lane. So the five-pin version SPI is faster just because it has more lanes to work with. Exactly. SPI has a dedicated wire for data in and data out, plus a chip select wire. In I2C, the controller has to shout a digital address to find the right chip, which creates a lot of data overhead. I see. In SPI, you just pull that chip select wire low and start blasting data immediately. No addressing needed. Right. And there's a hardware trick too. I2C is open drain, meaning it relies on pull-up resistors to bring the signal back up to 5 volts. That's a slow, passive process. Wait, what happens if the wires get too long or I add too many chips to that I2C bus? Before that, a message from our sponsor. With PCBWay, making your own professional custom PCBs, 3D printed parts and CNC metal parts has never been this easy. There is a big Christmas sale going on right now with big discounts and coupons. What are you waiting for? Visit PCBWay.com for more. That's the big shortcoming. Every inch of wire adds capacitance. If the bus gets too long, those resistors can't snap the signal back to high fast enough, and the data gets corrupted. So I2C is fragile. What if two chips have the same hard-coded address? Can I even use them both on the same two wires? Normally no, but look at a chip like the RP2040. It actually has two separate controllers, I2C0 and I2C1. This lets you run two totally independent buses to avoid address conflicts or overloaded wires. So the takeaway is, I2C is simple to wire but slow and sensitive to long cables, while SPI is a high-speed fire hose that needs way more pins. You got it. If you got pins, always go for SPI. Thanks Peter. Which topic should we cover next? Leave a like and follow Dan's Tronics and Electronics Peter for more.